All right, Chris, so what's happened here then? Um, we've had a bit of a breakdown. Um, what's happened is the the rubber bush in the rear propeller here, out of the two, um, has uh, broken up and the propeller's slid backwards and it's um, it's worn out the um, the cone. It's rubbed against the cone. This is, this is what it should look like. Crikey, so that, that's all... <laughs> All That's all worn has, down. It's worn away, yes. Put, put, the, put the real one next to it, the, the new one to it. There you go. So we've lost about an inch. Bloody hell. <laughs> um, so this is a, a useful uh, chance for us to show you how to change um, uh, duo prop propellers okay. and how they fit together. Um, we've got a nut in the middle here. Right. Look at the end of this one here. There's a locking nut. Yep. Okay. This is the the proper service tool. If you haven't got one of these, you can get away with using um, just a normal socket set and um, a large pair of adjustable spanners. But as I've got the proper tool, I'm going to use the proper tool. Okay. What I'm going to do is just just knock off the um, uh, locking nut in the middle. To stop the prop spinning, I can either put the, uh, the boat in gear in reverse, or in this particular case here, I'm just going to jam a bit of wood in, in between the two props, and I undo, I undo the locking nut. It's, it should just be, um, it should just be, just tight, not gorilla tight. Right. Um, but just nipped up so it wouldn't come undone. So I undo that, and then this being the proper tool here, I can put it in the. Um, so, just the correct me if I'm wrong. You've undone the nut which holds the cone on. That's the locking nut. This is to stop the cone falling off. Right. Or, or coming undone on its own. Okay. And then the cone just undoes. So it leaves the block of wood in there to keep the props yeah. from moving. Yep. And it's just a right hand thread. The old righty tighty lefty loosey rule. Okay. Turn it to the left. Yep. And then the cone unscrews. All oh, right. Okay. Okay. And it's on a 20 millimeter thread here. And in the middle there is the uh, is the locking nut. Right. Um, to get the props off, these have been off before, you can see there's plenty of grease, um, you can tap them gently, these are quite soft aluminium propellers, yep. um, I wouldn't recommend that, you can use a little bit of leverage in between, but I know these have been off quite recently, as you can see there's quite a lot of grease on them, Right. so they come off quite easily, okay, a little shroud, I like to put everything in order, the order it came off, that way I can see which way it goes back on. And we've got a nut here we undo with this special tool here. Just let me take a look at that one again, just take it off please. Alright, yep. Yeah. And you can, where, where would you be able to buy these sort of things from? This tool's about 30 quid, you can buy it from Volvo. Alright, okay. Um, or if you were in a fix, you were stuck somewhere, you could, you could get an adjustable spanner on there, you know, or a, large pair of grips, All right. something similar, this one's likely to be a little bit tighter, you, could probably, you might want to put the boat in gear if this doesn't come up. So put, put, undone, put it in gear and do the same sort of thing? Yes, it's, it's locking it with a piece of wood. There we go. This has got a nylon, it's like a nylon locking nut, that's what it is. Oh, so it's going to be quite tight all the way around. Yeah. By having the right tool, it, 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 uh, it saves a lot of effort. Just being a little bit careful here, because it's nice and covered in grease, I, what I don't want to do is put it down onto the straight onto the deck and uh, get grit in my grease. So, useful little trick here. Just to make use of the box that you've got. Yeah, just to protect it from uh, all your greasy bits yeah. on there so you're not introducing grit for when you put it back together. This is again on a spline shaft. It's been off quite recently, so it's come off nice and easily. Okay, so it's my rear propeller with a much bigger hole in it. And then this is just to protect the seal. If you get fishing line wound around your propeller, it usually ends up around this bottom bit here where the seal is and you can end up with it melting and getting into the seal and then you end up with water in your gearbox which is not good. While we're down here I'll have a little look at this. This is the anode. 
this is here to protect the... Um, is that uh, what they call cathodic protection? That's right, yeah. It, it, it dissolves rather than your um, out drive. So all the wigglies attack that rather than your boat? Absolutely. Yeah. All right. Buy a new one and stick a new one on every year or two. Right, so I'm going to refit this with the new cone. I've checked everything down. Okay, I've got... This propeller's fine. I know the, I know the rubber seal's good on it. It goes on nice and tight. So the next component? The next component is, is the locking nut with the um, nylon insert. If you've had the propeller on and off quite a few times, you may find you need to replace this. This one goes on nice and easily until you get to the nylon. So of course being a nylock type thing, it's, it's quite stiff tight. to get on. Yeah, yeah that starts getting tight and you need to use this balance. So I know this one's still pretty good. That goes my lump of wood again. Okay. By using the right tool here, I can make sure I don't over tighten it. It just needs to be nipped up as opposed to done up so you end up with a big lump in your throat. <laughs> <laughs> um, you've also got to remember that you need to make sure you've got plenty of white grease. Um, Volvo do proper um, lubricant for propellers and by using the right lubricant, plenty of it, it's going to be nice and easy for you to uh, put back together next time. Okay. Next goes on another shield here to protect the uh, the workings on that yeah, one. Yeah, the, the nut. Then this is similar to the one I took off, except this one has a intact rubber bearing. It um, it goes on with the the metal ring facing outwards. Okay. That um, slides on quite easily, it doesn't does, it? Does yes. In this particular kit, you get two plastic rings. This is designed for lots of different types of propeller. Um, this larger plastic rings when you're putting quite small propellers on, I don't need that. But I do need this. Oh, so they go, sorry, so the plastic rings go with different size propellers. So what That's sort right. of propeller, so what, you get the smaller blades, larger blades, that type of thing, well, is that the, what you mean? Yeah, the smaller the propeller, it's also smaller in this dimension as well, and you end up with quite a big gap between the... Ah, oh, hence, hence the spacer. That's right, yes. These are... A8s, and I think they only go up to A10, so these are almost the biggest ones they do, so I don't need the spacer. So, boy, the bigger the props, that will give us more power, more speed? Yep, but not necessarily more power. Smaller props would be better for towing. All right, okay. Give you a better, better bite on the water, and the engine revs could get a little bit higher. But um, it's best just to have the right props to match your boat and the type of work it's going to do. Uh huh. So, this is a new nose cone. See, it's a nice, neat fit. It, um, it goes on and we, we lock it again using the, the tool. If I didn't have this, I could use a screwdriver just for the sake of lock, for, just to hold the two props to, so I can tighten this up. I'm going to wedge the bit of wood in and again, just tight. Careful. Not, not so that you're um, over straining, that's not going to come undone because it's got in the middle here the locking nut just, 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 just to hold it all together yeah I'm going to use this because it's a bit close to the ground and it's just makes it easier for me to do it up and again just with the cone pop your lump of wood in the middle and I'll lift it up using the right tool so I don't over tighten it Go. Okay, just offer up that old one against it to see how much it's worn down. That's pretty amazing, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> right, so we're ready for action. Okay, thanks very much, Chris.